So our women's match for the night. <clears throat> Making her debut for Phoenix Pro Wrestling. You can see she wants some help from uh, the referee, Thunder Rosa, to get into the ring and oblige the newcomer, Lisa Marie Lace. And uh, Lisa is going to have herself a tough task as we saw Laura Palmer take down someone who's going to be in the semifinals yeah. Yeah. of this tournament at you, our P PW debut show. You have to think, that might give Laura Palmer a good leg up to get a, a future title shot. She surprised everybody by beating Drake Frost on the very first Phoenix Pro Wrestling show. There she is. Laura Palmer came out. She had herself one sparkling debut when she took on a very ornery Drake Frost, who was not happy about not being originally a part of our and PPW neither was debut Laura. show. Laura was here literally just setting up the ring, getting some practice in, and she took the call. Yeah, she Open came. match got announced. Nobody else came out. Laura went for it, and look how it worked out for her. Came out here to support her friends and the people she's trained with, and now here she is. One moonsault later, she's got a 1-0 record in Phoenix for wrestling, and now she's going to be facing Lisa Maria Lace, who's making her debut here at Phoenix Pro Wrestling. And Thunder Rosa is our referee this evening for this female matchup in Palmer who had herself a very, very good debut. Might be looking to go 2-0 and here. Yeah, and you think the only two people that are undefeated so far in Phoenix Pro Wrestling are Cobb and Kratos. And how wild would that be if Laura Palmer is the third name added into that mix? And we've been seeing it almost all night. It's another size advantage here for Lisa Maria Lace and Laura Palmer. Palmer, the taller of the two, a little bit more weight advantage as well and Lace was you know you know trying to get herself ready and having Thunder Rosa open the middle row for her and kind of taking it as like oh this is my ring nobody else's and Palmer's like well let's yeah. uh, let's discuss About this that. <laughs> and uh, once again we're seeing the small wrestler go behind the larger wrestler the go behind that's just not a good idea because that can happen and Palmer was just a simple rear waist lock takedown yeah, and and uh, is in control. Obviously, much smaller, but do not count her out. She's very wily. She's very smart in the ring. Wow, what a slam there by Palmer! Very agile as well, trying to dr drop the elbow there. But Lisa Maria Lace rolls out of the way, and actually rolls out of the ring. That's so smart. Catch she, your breath, regroup. It's a smart move by Lace. And she might. She's hurting a little bit already. Oh, you saw her face after taking that slam. Her, the wind probably got knocked out of her. Her eyes went into a hard squint right after taking that. And you want to talk about taking your time. You should be thinking about taking as much of the 10 count as you can here, but we're already up to six coming up. And look at Lisa Maria Lace. Might be having second thoughts here. She's thinking, maybe I don't want to get back into the ring. And Laura Palmer's like, well, if you're not going to come in, I'm going to come out. But Palmer, oh, she got a little bit too aggressive there. You have to imagine that's exactly what Lisa wanted right from the moment she rolled out to the floor. It was. It was all a ploy to get Palmer into the area that Lisa Maria Lace thought, well, this is where I think I can get her. And, well, she has the advantage now, and just as I say that, Palmer fights back, slams Lace's face right into the apron. And Palmer not happy with the way that Lace has been talking to her. I'll tell you what, she, she and she's got every right to feel that way too. Yeah. And look at Lace thinking that, you know, she might have injured herself with that move to the apron. 
I told you, Lisa Maria is wily. I, I always think she's up to something out there. Look at Thunder Rosa checking her out. And oh, a slap to the face! I'll tell you what, I, I am impressed with what Lace has been doing. She's been using Palmer's aggressive nature and, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. Palmer, obviously a very nice woman, kind of taking that into account and using it to her advantage. A cover here, first of the match and only a two count. So Lace, who hasn't had much of an offensive move outside of a slap to the face and letting Palmer run into the post and it's been all Palmer except for her own over aggressive nature taking her out of this match and now a rake of the eyes yeah. just blatant eye rakes slaps and just letting Laura Palmer run herself in it could work nice spinning neck breaker there cover two and only a two count so Lace trying to take down Palmer. Palmer who has really done a good job in this match so far, but just a couple of mistakes have cost her. And, and here now we she's come with the strikes from Lisa Maria. Oh, nice knee into the Big knee. solar plexus mm. there. Now going to center in, but Palmer reverses. Palmer retreats to the other corner, trying to get some more momentum, but runs into a big boot. Now Lace will fly off, but Palmer catches. Look at the strength here. Palmer still holding on, but Lace might have a guillotine choke. No, it's a it's, it's a butterfly hold. <laughs> We've seen a version of this. It's almost like the royal butterfly. Butterfly choke, and now she's just hanging all of her weight. Hanging all of it down on Laura Palmer. And Laura's trying to keep a base, but that is exhausting. That will tire you out so quick. And she's going down. She is already dropping to her knees. What a great piece of wrestling by Lace. And Palmer, oh, she actually falls down, but into the ropes. And so the break has to happen. But Lace with a nice move there, maneuvering her way out of trouble to get into a, a nice submission there on Palmer. Now Palmer is going to have to fight back. And again, Lace is wily. And the longer matches go, the more she kind of opens up, the more she blooms. Now Palmer comes in from behind, looking for the Japanese leg roll clutch, but she can't get it. Ducking under the clothesline, and a German suplex! What strength there by Lace! Rolls Palmer over. A cover, one, two, only a two count. Palmer could be hurt. She's holding her neck and shoulder. She's holding that trap. Yeah, and that's, she landed. collarbone. She landed right on it. She could be hurt. Only takes 15 pounds of pressure to break that collarbone. Now lace up top, or second row, and oh. missing the elbow drop. And that elbow. Posted that elbow right into the mat. Oh, man. That was a big risk. And that, oh, man, that looked bad. The way her elbow came down. But now Palmer trying to get the crowd behind her and now might have her opportunity to make a comeback here against Lace, but Lace takes a clothesline. Fighting back to her feet, kicked away the arm, and now Palmer with her own German suplex. Returning the favor on Lace. This is looking bad for Lace. We saw Palmer get on a roll against Frost, and that's all that she needed, and Frost ended up falling. And you can see Palmer getting ready for maybe a Boston Crab here. Oh, it's a, it's on the hang, and it's a giant swing! She's whipping her around. And gets to a seven count. And that takes a lot out of Palmer, too. She has to be careful. The old centrifugal force does a lot of damage to Lace, but that doesn't do much for the uh, balance of Laura Palmer, too. Oh, she it's can't a weird move. It can tire you out. It's tough on the knees, tough on the legs. It really, like, can take the wind out of the person doing the move. Lace able to get that shoulder up. So Palmer trying to do everything she can to try and put Lace away. Now is going to take her up in the fireman's carry position. What does she have planned here? 
Oh no, again, she's looking for that hanging butterfly hold. Palmer, she's got the legs though. She might try and power out of this. Yeah, look at Palmer going right after Lisa Maria's legs. So smart. Oh, swung out, but Lace is there with a the DDT. What great counter wrestling by Lace. Just swung her legs down like a pendulum and Laura had nowhere else to go but straight down. And now Lace is gonna ascend the turnbuckles. Second rope she goes, now drops that elbow. Now drops the oh, elbow. Right, right on the, the larynx. Gosh, right in the throat. One, two, oh, two count by Palmer. So she does get the elbow a second time, but Palmer's just not staying down. Lace has got another chance to go to the buckles. She ascends. She waits. She dives again. It's caught again by caught Palmer. Again. Palmer looking to put her up on the fireman's carry again. Lace is fighting. Palmer gets it. Here she goes. What she got in mind? Oh, a gut buster. Oh, my goodness. A cover, a hook of the leg, and that's going to do it. Laura Palmer is 2-0. and oh. Not once so far. Laura Palmer. Laura Palmer, 2-0, oh, as you said, Eric. We all expected Frost to kill Laura Palmer on the first show. Still nobody has been able to kill Laura Palmer. Unbelievable fight by Lace, though. She was right there with tons of counters. Some very impressive times there where you thought that she, she could have stolen plan. it. And I, I think I, I, I would be shocked if, if uh, Lisa Maria Lace was not invited back to Phoenix Pro Wrestling. But her and Thunder Rosa, the referee, There's not, something there. Yeah, there's, there's something between these two. I think this a, goes deeper than we realize. We saw Thunder Rosa at the debut show, and she's just going to leave. Actually, she's just going to allow Lace to leave on her own terms. Well, that's professional right there. And uh, that's professionalism at its best.